Hey guys, welcome to another Pandora tutorial. This one's how to set up your Pandora Games 3D as a PC game controller. In this case, we're going to use Steam. Okay, we need a USB cable, male to male. Pop one end into the top USB port of your Pandora. And then the other side goes into your computer. I'm running Windows 10, but Windows 7 should work fine too. You should see this screen here. If you don't, we will need a wired keyboard like this. I'm going to pop this one into the bottom USB port at the back of your Pandora. And then push the settings button, like so. And we're going to get into super secret setting screen by pushing numbers 9, 5, 2, 7. And then we're going to uncheck this little bobber here. Uh, yeah, there. Just down, 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 and then enter. This option controls what the top USB port does on your Pandora system. If you have it unchecked, you can use it as a controller. If you have it checked, you can use it to access ADB when you've got it hooked up to your PC. Okay, so now we can uh, switch the Pandora games off and then we can turn it back on again. All right, as soon as it detects the computer, give you this little controller, Bobby. Okay, here we have Steam, just at the summer sale. I've gone and bought a few games. So hit Steam and the settings, then go to controller, general controller settings, and then you can see two at the bottom here, uh, N200, N200, yeah. So that's your right side and your left side of your Pandora. The top one will not calibrate, but the right one will, so... I'm kind of following the layout, then I'm pressing start, now I'm pause, and then press pause again. I'm going to skip these by pressing down a few times on the keyboard. Okay, I'm going to have left shoulder, the very top right button, and right shoulder, the bottom right and up, down, left, right on the D-pad as my stick. Okay, once you've done this, you can go down to save, or just press back, and we're gonna give it a name. Uh, PG 3D controller bobs. Okay, I'm gonna just leave it as an Xbox One controller. Should be right. Now it doesn't say N200 anymore, it just says Xbox One controller. We've configured one side, the other side is fine too. We don't have to touch anything else. First game we're going to try is Tekken 7. Seems to be working off the bat. And it also seems very responsive. This tournament set, Alisa Boskanovich. Get ready for the next battle. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Let's try with two players. Alisa Boskanovich. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Looking good. You are in too deep. I'm out Soul Calibur 6. Come on, let's do this. Battle 1. Fight!
There's Castle Crushers. Okay, so one issue with this game is that the left and right triggers are not configured. To fix this, we'd have to go back into the Steam controller settings and then add the left and right trigger. Here's King of Fighters 13. Ready. This looks amazing. Is fight and rage. Here we have another world. With this game, I had to use the right side of the Pandora. And lastly, Streets of Rage 4. So in conclusion, the Pandora Games 3D is an excellent controller. It's very responsive. Everything works great. The only issue is, but it it needs power. Hey, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. See you later. Bye!